Right, let's not faff about. You're here because you want to know how to crank out 250 social media posts in just 10 minutes. Today, I'm showing you exactly how to create content for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, basically all the places that you've been told to post on but don't have the time for. Oh, and we are using ChatGPT and Canva because who doesn't love free tools doing half the work for you? Thanks to Modern Millie for the inspiration. We are bringing you up to date with the latest Canva and ChatGPT updates. All right, our first stop is ChatGPT. If you don't already have an account, honestly, where have you been? AI is doing half our jobs for us now. Head open to OpenAI, get yourself sorted. It is free for the basic stuff, but today we are using GPT-4 Turbo. Why Turbo? Well, because it's faster, smarter, and frankly, better at pretty much everything, short of making your morning coffee, but give it time. Now let's get started. We're aiming for 50 encouraging quotes because who doesn't love a little bit of Monday motivation? And you're gonna need them if you've ever tried keeping up with social media algorithms. So we're gonna go with create a list of 50 encouraging quotes for content creators and YouTubers. And here we go, 50 quotes, all fresh out of the AI oven. That's 50 down, 200 to go. But don't worry, we're not stopping at vague motivational fluff. You know, the ones, dream big, never give up, all very lovely. But we are here for something a bit more useful. So next up, let's ask for some practical advice. Create a list of 50 tactical tips for content creators and YouTubers. So boom, another 50. But this time it is actual, actionable stuff that your audience might actually find helpful. So there we have it to start with, 100 pieces of ideas for content but here's where it gets interesting these 100 aren't just going to sit around as a plain text list now it's time for google sheets action i know spreadsheets aren't the most thrilling part of content creation but trust me this one is quick and painless just copy and paste those 50 quotes into one tab and the 50 tips into another Think of it as organizing your content chaos into something Canva can actually handle later. It's like meal prepping, but for content. Everything's getting neatly packaged up, ready for the week ahead. If only we were this organized with our actual meals. Next, we'll export both sheets as CSV files. Don't worry, it's just spreadsheet stuff. You want file, download, CSV on both tabs. CSV files are just plain text files pretending to be spreadsheets but they're important for what's coming next. All right, now it is time to get visual. Welcome to Canva, where even people who can't tell their way around Photoshop end up looking like design geniuses. If you haven't noticed, Canva's new magic design and bulk create features have made life, and by life, I mean content creation, a whole lot easier. Let's get these CSV files working for us and churn out some Instagram graphics because that content calendar isn't gonna fill itself. Not yet anyway. AI's working on it, I'm sure. Create design, Instagram post. So here we are ready to create an Instagram post. Now we have two options. You can either spend an hour overthinking every font and color choice like it's a life altering decision or you can let Canva's magic design do the heavy lifting. Think of it as your personal design assistant without the back and forth emails. So once you've picked a template, or if you've let Canva pick one for you, let's head over to the bulk create feature. This is where Canva really earns its keep. You'll find it under apps on the left-hand side. Now let's put those CSV files we so lovingly crafted earlier to good use. First, upload the file with our 50 inspirational quotes. Right, now comes the fun bit. Canva is about to do all the hard work while we sit back and look clever. We just need to connect the data to the text box in the template. And just like that, 50 Instagram graphics done and dusted. Not a bead of sweat in sight, but we're not finished yet. Now we rinse and repeat with the tip CSV. Same process, same efficiency. We'll have another 50 posts ready before you've even finished that cup of tea. All right, now we are moving into the world of short form video where attention spans are shorter than your morning commute. And you've got about three seconds to impress. We're talking reels, TikToks, and YouTube shorts. This is where your quotes and tips get a little bit of a glow up. Create design, Instagram reels. Now, 
Same drill as before, we'll upload those trusty CSVs again, one for quotes, one for tips, and let Canva handle the magic. It's the same process, just this time, instead of static images, we are turning them into bite-sized videos. And here is the best part, Canva's stock video library is your new best friend. You don't need to spend hours creating cinematic masterpieces. In fact, you don't need to create anything at all. Canva's got stock footage of people typing, sipping coffee, or even looking off into the distance like they're contemplating the meaning of life. Perfect for content creators, right? But hey, if you want to use your own clips, whether it's your cat knocking over a cup of tea, or you furiously typing away in a cafe to look productive, by all means, go for it. Variety is the spice of life after all. And there you have it. We've got 50 shiny new videos ready for reels, TikToks, or shorts. So between our 50 Instagram posts and these 50 videos, we are already at 150 pieces of content so far. Not bad for a few minutes work, but wait, we are not stopping at 150. Oh no, we are going to squeeze every last drop out of this content. You see, every quote and every tip can also be repurposed into carousels or stories because why settle for one post when you can turn it into three? Before you know it, we're gonna have another 50 carousel posts. You're not just creating content, you are mass producing it. So to adapt it for carousels, we need it to be slightly different. So we're gonna go back over to ChatGPT and we're gonna type this new instruction in just to convert the tips that we already have into a converted format so that we're going to be able to copy it over to Canva and have it do its magic a bit easier. Otherwise, it's not going to know which page in the carousel to use for which tip. We're going to need to add sections as well to make each one even more amazing. You're going to then copy the code over and then when we go over to a spreadsheet, let's get a new one, we're going to paste that in and then we're going to split the text into columns so that you have each individual tip is now a brand new column. You'll be able to then do what we did before and export each column as a CSV and then we can then upload that into Canva and create our carousels by connecting each data column to the correct page. <laughs> All right, so by now we've got ourselves 150 posts, 50 videos and 50 carousels. And let's be honest, you're probably feeling pretty chuffed with yourself right now. Well, I am anyway, but hold up, we are not done yet. Now we are going to repurpose all this glorious content across multiple platforms because why post it once when you can hear Instagram, TikTok and YouTube shorts with the same content. It's like social media multitasking, but smarter. So you're probably thinking, can't I just copy and paste the same thing to each platform and call it a day? Well, technically, yes, but here's the thing. What works on TikTok might not fly on Instagram and YouTube Shorts is its own quirky beast. So let's get clever with a few tweaks. Think of it as giving your content a little bit of a wardrobe change. Same person, different outfit. So first, captions. Now TikTok really thrives on casual conversational captions. Keep it snappy, maybe throw in a trending hashtag or two. Now Instagram on the other hand, loves a good mini blog post. So feel free to get a bit wordy. And for YouTube shorts, short and punchy works best. So think of it like the elevator pitch of captions. Hashtags are the next tweak. TikTok is all about the trending hashtags. Those can really boost your reach. Instagram, however, prefers a mix of niche and trending tags, and you don't need quite as many as you do for TikTok. And on YouTube Shorts, well, just slap on a few relevant ones and move on. Remember, we are working smarter, not harder. And let's not forget visuals. Canva makes it really easy to change up your color scheme or layout with just a few clicks. So maybe give your Instagram posts just a softer, branded look 
while TikTok gets the more bold and in your face version. For YouTube Shorts, just go with whatever grabs attention. After all, people are scrolling at lightning speed here. So by making these tiny adjustments, you're not just posting the same content in three different places, you are adapting it, making it feel fresh for each platform. And that is the key to keeping your audience engaged across all the social media playgrounds. We've turned 150 posts into 250. That's right, 250 distinct pieces of content and all you did was make a few minor adjustments. Not too shabby, huh? Now, if you've made it this far and aren't feeling like a social media guru yet, this is a formula. Rinse, repeat and watch your content calendar fill up faster than you can say algorithm. So you've got posts, you've got videos, you've got carousels, and you are ready to plaster them all over Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, all without breaking a sweat. Now, if you are still manually uploading each post one at a time after this, I'm afraid there's no help. But if you really enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button. We've got loads more AI hacks, social media tips, and loads more in the next video, which is going to be coming up here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or there. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.